Quebec provincial police will need to know more before they confirm it, but investigators now believe they found the body of Martin Carpentier, the man wanted in the deaths of his two young daughters. This is video into us this morning that shows investigators at a scene last night in the Saint Apollinaire area, about 30 kilometers south of Quebec City. Police say the discovery ends a search that began with an amber alert back on July the 8th. Michael Serapio leads off the hour with our latest coverage, Michael, and the details we have to this point in the morning. Good morning. Good morning, Heather, and those details coming to us directly from the Cilte du Quebec as they have released uh, in French a tweet with the following information. Take a look, the translation uh, essentially telling us that following information received from a citizen, the body of a man was found in the Saint Apollinaire sector at around 7 p.m. last night. All signs suggesting that it is Martin Carpentier, according to initial findings, say the SQ. He took his own life. Now, saint Apollinaire, as you say, an area just south of Quebec City, is where police have been searching for nearly two weeks now, searching for 44-year-old Martin Carpentier, the father of two young girls, 11-year-old Nora and 6-year-old Romy. The two girls disappearing on July the 8th, triggering an amber alert. And sadly, their bodies were found on July 11th in the same wooded area where Carpentier's body was discovered, believed to be his body discovered yesterday. Carpentier wanted in the deaths of his daughters. And at one point, police believed that he broke into some area trailers looking for food and supplies. But as you know, on Saturday, the ground search was suspended. Police saying they did not believe he could have survived that long given the ground conditions. And then the discovery of the body. Officials do say that an autopsy will be performed. No additional information will be shared until then. And as for local area residents, uh, we have to say that some are expressing regret that Carpentier was not found alive because there are still so many unanswered questions as to what led to the girl's death. But in addition to that, also this overwhelming sense of relief now that the fear in the community these past two weeks have been lifted, Heather. So we'll certainly await further detail from the SQ today, Michael, or at some point in terms of uh, what has happened there and whether they are confirming it is the Carpentier body. But the discovery, you know, happening on the very same day, such mm -hmm. emotion in the community because the little girl's funerals were held and hundreds were in attendance at a distance. At a distance because of COVID-19 and that funeral very emotional as well. Obviously a very sad moment in the town of La Vie and in fact the funeral uh, was the highlight of it was the eulogy from the girl's mother Amélie Lemieux who said that she would always cherish each memory, each photo of her girls would always remember their soft voices calling her mama and where she thanked both Nora and Romy for choosing her to be their mother. She said it was a priceless privilege as you see there the release of doves in the air. Now, as sad as that eulogy was, as hard as it was to hear, it was also meant to be this funeral, a celebration of the lives of these two young girls. Take a listen to the funeral director, Mariev Garneau. It was asked by the family to be um, more like a celebration of life than a funeral ritual itself. They wanted to uh, really put the focus on the life and the joy, the happiness, the brightness that the girls brought throughout their life. It's the kind of call that you always wish you're never going to get. Um, just because, not because you know you can't do it, because of course we always can, but just on a human point of view. Now, as we take another look at the funeral, there were, as you say, hundreds of people outside the funeral home itself. Only about 50 people were allowed inside because of COVID-19, so very much limited to family and friends. But so many people in the community and the surrounding towns wanted to come out. This has been a very difficult past two weeks. Many moved by the story of these two young girls, these two lives lost and the words shared by their mother. So as you say, Heather, a, a very emotional day for very different reasons yesterday around St. Apollinaire in Quebec. Michael Serapio, thank you very much. You're welcome.